Hi folks, John Ambrosic here from Smale Buick in Greensburg. We're back after all of this COVID stuff. And today we are with the all new redesigned Buick Envision. We're gonna take this thing out on the road, show you how some of the things work. Let's get that going right now. All right guys, so here we are. We're gonna walk around outside of this all new redesigned Envision real quick and just kind of show you some of the, the changes. Right away off the bat, you're gonna notice up front a lot more aggressive, kind of like a, a, just kind of a muscular, more muscular uh, look to the front. Uh, you're gonna notice all LED headlights here. Uh, you're in the Avenir here, you're gonna have your lower section, that is your LED turn signals and daytime running lights. Um, what Buick did with this, which I think is a really cool thing, the parking sensors on these, they kind of redesigned the front end here and back to kind of hide the sensor. So instead of you having those really noticeable little sensor circles all over, uh, you're gonna see right down here on this lower section, you have two of the sensors. And then right here in these little sections where it looks like little vents, uh, you're gonna see in the corners of each one of those, the other sensors. So they just kind of hit everything, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, you don't, like I said, you don't have those sensors kind of sticking out all the time. Obviously, again, you have your uh, Avenir exclusive grill here, um, but Buick kind of, again, went a little bit more muscular. So they, they kind of, you know, brought that grill in a little bit, stretched it out a little bit more. Uh, so it does have like a sportier look to it. Uh, as we come around the side here, you're gonna see again, this one is equipped with the park assists that will parallel park you and perpendicularly park you. So you're gonna have your parking sensors uh, in the front there, also one towards the back. As we come down the side here, you're gonna see the Avenir badging with the chrome strip, Avenir exclusive wheels. As we come around to the back, again, exclusive to the Avenir model, you're gonna have your neutral density taillights, which uh, are gonna give you that clear look. So again, exclusive to the Avenir, where all of the other Envisions, you're just gonna have your standard red taillight with the LED. Come around the back, you have your Avenir there, uh, your Envision badging with the all-wheel drive. And again, they kind of, uh, in, in the back here, if you take a look, um, it almost looks like this would be your exhaust, um, but they're actually just kind of little pockets, but it, it does give it a cool, like dual exhaust look to the back. Um, you know, again, just kind of made this vehicle, stretched it out a little bit, made it a little bit wider, squatted it down a little bit. So it just has more of a sporty, aggressive look um, than it did previously. One feature you're gonna get on all of the trim levels in the Envision, they're all gonna come with a power hatch. Uh, they also are gonna have the hands-free lift gate, which is nice if you're out shopping, hands are full. Maybe you're carrying something, you come up here, you're gonna put your foot underneath of here activate the sensor you're going to get the indicator there from the lights and that's going to open up for you um, again just with the redesign the you have a little bit more room here in the back than you did previously it's a, going to give you a little bit of a deeper uh, storage underneath here you're going to have your spare tire and this shade is really nice because it none of the 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 old uh, envisions this was an option and it was kind of like a like a shade you had to pull it up and it went into place this is nice because if it's here um, if you do need to remove it you're just going to push this up a little bit take these off give it a little pop right there on those corners and that thing's going to come right out so if you do have to put something in here that's going to sit a little bit higher than this ledge you do have the opportunity to do that uh, you also do have the button here to close your tailgate so you can push that button there you also have a button on your key fob, a button on the inside of the driver's door, and you still do have the hands-free function that you can also close that with. Uh, as we come back down around this side here, uh, the Envision still do have your keyless entry. So you have the buttons on all of the door handles. As we push it one time, that's gonna unlock the driver's door. A second time from the driver's door handle will unlock all four doors. Push any of the passenger buttons, that's gonna unlock all four doors at one time. Um, it's going to get you in the car obviously again when you get out you're going to just hit the button that's going to lock the doors for you so as we come around to the back seat um, you're going to see obviously again complete redesign that you have this uh, design here from the front seats it's going to carry around this quilted look to the rear seats also um, you have your vents also have your buttons there for your heated 
outboard seats in the back. You have a USB and a USB-C charging ports here. And then you also have your 120 outlet. Um, for those of you that may have car seats back here, you do have easy access to your latch supports. Um, real nice. They're very easily labeled, very easy to get to. Uh, you have the two anchors here in the bottom, and then obviously the one's going to go through to the seat there in the back. And then you have your armrest with a couple cup holders in there. And then the rear seats, if you do need to fold them down, you just have a little button here. They're going to fold down, and you have a nice level load floor there which is really nice uh the old envision the rear seat slid um it adjusted back and forth so what you had was when you folded these seats down these seats actually kind of kicked up just a little bit and depending on where you had this rear seat positioned you did have a little bit of a gap here in between so if you had stuff in the back uh, i had some people say that occasionally it would roll and the stuff would go in behind the seat so that is no longer the case this rear seat now is just in one fixed position if you look at the door here this is going to be on the front in the rear doors of the avenirs uh, you do see kind of like that little 3d effect which is a really nice kind of aesthetic feature uh, that you're going to also see in the avenirs and again i just think it's just kind of a nice little touch that just gives it a little bit more class and you know a little bit of a of a different look than you have from the other envisions okay guys up front here again obviously you're going to see uh this tilted effect here to the driver and again with this center console um kind of took those cup holders that used to be across this way it's going to put them straight up and down uh just makes this console a lot narrower so you have more leg room um, just more room up front than you had previously uh, it's really neat too because they give you a little pass through and a little storage bin here that goes straight from the driver's side over to the passenger so that's a that's another neat little feature it gives you some some more room to, to place some things in there and then um, familiar with the old envisions you'd still have the same console the way that it opens up um, which is nice again if you have you know somebody in the passenger seat that needs to get in here um, just push the button the driver doesn't have to move their arm they can get whatever they need out of here and, and vice versa so again just everything that they have done to this vehicle has just kind of pushed it over the edge and just made it that much better the, of a vehicle than it was before so here we are on the inside of the Buick Envision, uh, we're going to take it for a ride here and demonstrate some of the features. In the Avenir model that we're in right now, uh, you have some nice features. There's a heads-up display, uh, you have blind spot detection, forward collision alert, lane keep assist, blind spot. Um, so all of these safety features are, are really nice. We're going to kind of demonstrate some of them right now. So uh, the lane keep assist, what it's going to do typical with the rest of GM's vehicles. If you happen to drift out of the lane, uh, it's going to gently steer you back into the lane, whether you drift left or right. For safety reasons, if you're trying to avoid something, uh, it's not going to steer you back in. But notice if we start to kind of move over here to the left, it picks up. It's going to indicate on the dashboard that it activated and it's going to gently steer you back over. Again, very subtle. Some people say they don't really feel it in the steering wheel um, again it's not to scare anybody it's just a safety thing that's going to gently push you back over uh, along with the forward collision so you have a couple different settings there that you can use as far as uh, the when you want the alerts to come on so further distance you have a far medium and a near distance and those are just going to depend on when the activation kicks in and when it alerts you um, again dependent on your speed in the car distance of the car in front of you what it's going to do it's going to alert you just to make sure that you have a safe amount of distance if the car in front of you were to suddenly stop you have enough room to stop without hitting them so again that's just going to notify you there uh, this one also comes equipped with adaptive cruise control so the adaptive cruise control is a really nice feature it uses the uh, sensors in the front bumper along with the camera 
And what it does is when you set your speed with your cruise control, as you're driving, the vehicle will automatically slow you down so you don't have to continuously hit the brake, slow down, and then resume back up to your speed. So again, that distance is controlled by the same button that you're going to control your forward collision. Uh, so there's three different distances, a far, medium, and a near. Again, it's just going to depend on the amount of car lengths that you have in front of you. But a really nice feature, especially if you're taking a ride, you're using the highway. Um, just one less thing for you to have to worry about. Um, you see inside here also, uh, with the new design of the dashboard, how everything in this kind of center section right here leans towards the driver so uh, they did that you can still see things from the passenger side but they did kind of angle things over a little bit here you kind of have this just to kind of make it a more driver centric uh, experience driving so it's it's really nice everything is is easy to touch as opposed to maybe if it was if it was more straight you know you're reaching a little bit more so that little bit of an angle too just gives you you're not having to reach if you need to touch the touch screen or even your controls down here for your climate um, everything is within easy reach. Some of the other features, you do have a little storage uh, bin right here that you can open and close. Uh, in the Avenir, this is going to come equipped with a wireless cell phone charger. Uh, so anything in Android and iPhone 8 and up uh, will have that. So you can just set your phone right in there and use the wireless charger. Uh, these are also going to have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So that's a really nice feature. Before, if you did have the wireless charger, uh, it was kind of, you couldn't use it if you were using the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto because it was always plugged in. So if you had maybe somebody in the car with you that had a wireless capability for charging, they could use it. But if you were driving yourself and wanted to use one of those two features, it was kind of useless. Another big feature that they changed here was they got rid of the shifter along the column here uh, so they went to push and pull buttons um, so just similar to what is in the GMC's um, but you have your reverse and your drive that you're gonna pull up park you would just push it uh, there is a manual setting and neutral you do have paddle shifters back here so if you did put it in the manual you can shift up and down give you a little bit of a sportier ride uh, you have your parking brake here, it's still electronic, and you have um, one of the features that they did add with the auto stop start engine is you have a disable button here now. Uh, so previously the ones that had that, it was just on off, you now have the ability to change that. Um, you also have your lane keep assist, traction control. This one also comes with a park assist, so will parallel park you, also perpendicularly park you using the sensors, um, and then you have your button for your front rear parking sensors. One of the big things with this vehicle, it was a very nice ride before. Very quiet, very um, just very smooth and quiet you know a very comfortable ride and the new redesign is just it's kind of really taking it up a notch still very quiet um, you have the two liter turbo which is available now from the preferred all the way up to the Avenir uh, where previously you had the 2.5 and then you went to the 2.0 um, now you have the same engine across the board doesn't matter what trim level you're in and it's just um, you know the, the the new engine that they took out of the Cadillac so you just have that constant power right at your at your uh, foot anytime you get into it you just have that power it pulls more across the power band continuously than the previous two liter turbo did obviously this one here we also have the panoramic sunroof um, another nice feature it opens everything up especially if you have any passengers riding in the back just kind of gives you a you know a nice open uh, airy feel if you have the shade open uh, you have these two vents here in the front and you have a little wheel that will open and close and what that is is those vents will actually direct air to the back customers um, 
easy to show if you kind of close all the vents and you hold it it just it blows the air right between the driver and the front passenger to the back passengers they also have vents back there but it just gives a little bit more added air um, and the, the wheel is just you're either opening or closing the vent so that's a neat little feature that they added also you do have the technology package so that gives you the heads-up display uh, it also gives you the rear camera mirror which is a really nice feature so obviously here you have capability you're using the mirror as a regular mirror at night anybody come behind you uh, it still dims but if you have passengers or maybe you have stuff in the back that's just taking up room and you can't really see you just pull that forward and there's an additional camera in the back there and turns your rearview mirror there into a camera it takes all of your blind spots out of the way um, gives you a, a bigger wider view of what's behind you you get it there so there's the blind spot detection you have somebody next to you uh, that will light up either in the driver's side view mirror or the passenger side view mirror um, another nice feature that they added to the rear camera mirrors here um, it was in some of the other vehicles it's the first year for it in the Envision um, but what you can do is there is a brightness setting that you can either make the screen a little bit brighter or dimmer you can also zoom in and zoom out and then you can also adjust the height of where you want to be looking so depending on depending on your height depending on what you feel comfortable what gives you more of a natural look to what's behind you you have some adjustments now which is another really nice feature that they added in the front seats what you're going to notice is these are an avenir exclusive uh, pattern so you're going to have almost like a quilted look to the seats in the front um, you're going to have that in the seating surface on the bottom also a long where uh, along the back of the seat so depending on the color interior uh, will change but you do have that quilted look uh, with the Avenirs you're also going to get heated and ventilated front seats which is a really nice feature uh, you do have the dual climate zone um, available too along with your navigation and your touch screen okay so we got the heads up display up here and there's couple different settings uh, that you can put up there on the screen but right now you're gonna see it's your speedometer below that you're gonna see the speed limit of the road that you're driving on um, to the left you see the little white indicator with the car and the little speedometer that's showing your cruise control the adaptive cruise control uh, above that you're gonna see a little outline of a car green car to the left that's your forward collision it's just showing that it's picking up the vehicle in front of you and then to the right you have your lane keep assist when it's green it's activated um, you can see right there I'm slowing down so it went below the speed where it does activate so it turned white just to show you that it's on but it's not active um, and again if you do happen to drift out of the lane that indicator then will turn from green to yellow uh, to give you a visual and then just some of the other things that you can put on there you can change the bottom from the speed limit on the road um, you can put your radio station uh, you have a compass for your navigation so if you put up your navigation and you have something entered in there it will show you your turns coming up um, and then just for kind of like a sport uh, if you you know kind of want to go out and just tool around and uh, get a little sporty with it you do have your uh, tachometer there and it's going to show you your speed limit on the very bottom and then you can see right there we did come to a stop so it says auto stop real big across the bottom there just to kind of alert you that the engine did shut off and then when it turns back on you're going to see the engine that goes away your rpm the little bar came up a little bit there to show you that the engine is back on and then depending on the driver you can actually adjust this up or down and then you can also adjust the brightness so depending on what's comfortable for you um, and some people driving this might not really like that feature so you can just dim the thing completely out and make it go away or you can just adjust it up out of your way so it's not there previously you either had front wheel drive or you had all-wheel drive 
Um, and what GM is doing now is they're kind of going with all of their SUVs, anything that you can get the all-wheel drive in. And they're adding the option of strictly front-wheel drive. And then as you need it, you can turn on the all-wheel drive. So um, it's really good for, you know, especially living in Pennsylvania. You have the summers. Sometimes even in through the winters, you know, you might not have a very... Um, horrible winter where there's not much snow maybe it's just cold and you really don't need to utilize that all-wheel drive um, you know all the time so you do have the option put it in front-wheel drive what it's going to do is that front-wheel drive is going to get you better gas mileage um, and if you do need to change it you just have a little button right here on the console it says mode and what you're going to do you're going to push the button it's going to come up in front of you and it gives you three different all-wheel drive settings so you do have uh, just strictly all-wheel drive uh, you have all-wheel drive sport and all-wheel drive off-road so i'm going to demonstrate um, the park assist feature uh, so it's the button right here looks like a p and it has sensors kind of going to the top and the bottom i'm going to stop Shift into reverse. All right, there we go. So now brake if necessary. So obviously it's gonna take control of the gas pedal. You just control the brake. And you're gonna watch this little line here. It actually stopped us, shifted into drive it's going to pull forward a little bit here and again you're going to watch that but you do have if necessary if you feel like there is something in the way you can hit the brake pedal um, otherwise it's just going to do everything for you so you keep your feet away from the pedals take your hands off of the wheel and as you park it's going to shift you right into park and you're done. You can also do that. It's a nice feature uh, for parallel parking also. All right, guys, so that was our test drive in the all new redesigned Buick Envision. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing it to you and driving it. If you guys have any questions, come on down and check it out on Route 30 in Greensburg, or you can also check us out on the web at smailbuick.com.